Cutting off your penis does not make you a woman. Cutting off your breast does not make you a man. You were designed by an intelligent creator. The enemy is a liar and it's time to tell the truth. Finally, a pastor that will stand up. This video is brought to you by the Officer Tatum store. The Officer Tatum store, get the merch link in the description section. Uh, also, we have a whole bunch of stuff coming soon. He has risen all of our cold merch uh, ahead of Easter season. You just go to Tatum store, link is in the description section, put the discount code in that's floating around right here somewhere and get you some merch today. Like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get a notification. Anytime I go live, make a video, y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, Finally, a pastor of the Lord Jesus came out and said it like it EI is. I don't understand for the life of me why it's so difficult for pastors to stand up and tell the truth according to the Bible. One thing that I don't understand as a Christian is that I don't have to have my own independent, uh, articulable facts about certain things because it's written in the scripture. All I have to do is say, don't blame me. I ain't your God. I didn't make it up. Just read this. This is what my stance is because I believe in him who created me. Pastors nowadays are so scared, so wimpish, so cowardice that they want to be so passive aggressive and, and, and well, just passive in general. They ain't even trying to be aggressive that we are losing the culture war. But without me it's just running my mouth too much, I want you to listen to this clip of this pastor literally going off. And I will say this because that's the first thing that came to my mind. He does have the Carl Lentz pastor vibes, but he told the truth. Roll the clip. Top female athletes are men. USA Today gave the Woman of the Year Award to a man. The president said the bravest women he knows are men. People who want to celebrate Women's History Month but don't even know how to define one. Cutting off your penis does not make you a woman. Cutting off your breast does not make you a man. You were designed by an intelligent creator. The enemy is a liar and it's time to tell the truth. In the beginning, God made them male and female. They can go ahead and cancel us from every platform they got, but you're not going to stop the people of God. See, I, I, what was so hard about that? Can pastors all around the country. Now, I know some Pat Greg Law. I know, I know Marcus Rogers. There's other pastors that talk like this that are very enthusiastic about the Bible and the truth. But why? how is this somehow difficult to say? All you have to do is look at the facts. Women who, and we're just getting started, women who are dominating in sports that have these records are the men who transition to becoming women. The only reason that we don't see all sports being dominated because they just haven't gotten there yet. You got some young people up and coming already that's, that's, lead, that's in high school breaking women's records. When they get to the collegiate level, in some capacities, they banned people from doing this on the collegiate level. But once they get to the collegiate level, they go to the professional level, track and field is gone. Basketball will be gone. We already see swimming, gone. Pole vault, javelin throw. Uh, you know, you go down a list of all the track events, gone. Now, beauty pageants, gone. The front of magazines, gone. Before you know it, men are going to literally be dominating all of the women industries. And then and under the guise of I'm a woman. And then all you got to do is look at, you know, any of these documents or any of these statements from young people on campus. And, and they literally think that anybody can become a woman. I think trans women are women. Whatever you choose to present yourself, you are a woman. If you you don't even have to have like any sort of gender reaffir um, affirm affirmation surgery. I think if anyone wants to be a woman, they can. I think. Just because a trans woman is a woman, and I do think we should platform that. I mean, well, it's complicated because this is like a social phenomenon, right? Because there's presenting as a woman, there's people interpreting you as a woman, there's also what you feel like internally, whether you feel like a woman or not. They're all kind of intermingled and different. That's very complex. I think in terms of, like, identity, if they identify as a woman, then yeah, that's that's it. They're just a woman, right? These are kids that are in college. These are these are the, the next generation of intellects. And they're telling you anybody can be a woman if they feel like it. Are you serious? Then, then what ramifications? Let me just give you an example. If they're giving out scholarships for women, what's stopping me from just identifying with a woman, getting the scholarship, and then turning back to being a man? 
What's stopping me from doing that? Nothing. If there's any benefit to be had to being a woman, the suffrage that women have endured over the years, if there's any benefit, a man can take advantage of the benefits that he never had to go through. You know, the funny thing is, is that a lot of people are totally okay with transgender. But what about transracial? Why can't a white person say, hey, I'm, I'm, I identify as a black man? Why, why can't? Listen, because if you look at it, transracial makes a lot more sense than transgender. Transgender is biologically impossible. Transracial really isn't biologically impossible. Your race and your color don't really matter, to be honest. I know that I, I see little, little mama and what's her name? Little Snooky, I don't know her name. The, the white girl that catch me outside, not them girls. If you close your eyes, you think that's a black girl. She probably grew up around nothing but black people. She could be transracial. Remember Rachel Dolezal from the NAACP? She was doing so much work in the community, then they found out that she was actually white. And the funny thing is they got mad at Rachel Dolezal, but they don't get mad at your boy Sean King. Sean King is a white man. His birth certificate says he's white. His two parents on the birth certificate are both white. He being transracial, and y'all accepting that for whatever reason. But it's funny to me the hypocrisy of all of this. And Christians need to stand up and set the tempo and stop being cowards. Jesus wasn't a coward. For whatever reason, people think Jesus was running around sprinkling fairy dust on people. He called out the Pharisees, hypocrites, untoward generation, uh, uh, vipers. Now, he was speaking another language. I don't know how harsh that language was, but clearly it was harsh enough for them to kill him over it. We won't even say nothing to hurt somebody's feelings, let alone get killed over something that we say. Anyway, I could talk 100 years about this, but I, I'm glad that this pastor stepped up and said something. I really want to, he probably mad at me for the Carl Lentz, you know, thing, but I really would like to interview him and talk to him. So if y'all know this pastor, let him know that I, I want to talk to him because I think it's, there's not enough pastors that are out saying that out of fear of losing their congregation and they don't really love Christ. They love themselves. They love the wealth they've been able to generate. They do not love Christ. Let's talk about uh, more on the next video. I'll see y'all later. I'm out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I put out three videos a day. So make sure you go to the uh, playlist that says new video and watch more videos. Subscribe to this channel. Let's go, baby.